Hello, dear friends. This could be an explanation for the symptoms I mentioned yesterday. Opinion piece, Silver Gate, Aldebaran Energy. We are in free fall. The start of illumination. Conjunction with the sun. Overwhelmed and anxious. Let's start. From May 28th to 31st of each year, the sun crosses Aldebaran, activating its energy and making it more easily accessible to each and every one of us. Because Aldebaran energy is so powerful, especially on a mental level, we can feel a little overwhelmed and anxious, especially if we are prone to overthinking or have cluttered mind. Aldebaran is the brightest star in the Taurus constellation and the 13th brightest in the night sky. Ancient astronomers from the Middle East, India, Greece, Mexico, and Australia had stories to explain. Aldebaran's reddish glow, which is actually a product of its large size and, relative, and relatively cool surface temperature. Aldebaran is a red giant, which means it is cooler than the sun with a surface temperature of 3,900 degrees Celsius, but its radius is about 44 times that of the Sun, making it more than 400 times brighter. The star rotates slowly and takes 520 days to complete one rotation. This star is believed to host a planet several times the mass of Jupiter, called Aldebaran B. Many popular fables use this star to designate the persevering human being who doesn't accept defeat. Ptolemy called it the tor torch bearer, and in Greek it was also called Eye of the Bull. The Aldebarans decided to be the main race that will appear in the first official contact with beings from other worlds, thus replacing the role that the Pleiadians had before, according to Cobra. Fortune. As Aldebaran is linked to fortune as success, we can also use these days to take action towards our goals and dreams, and for manifestation work. We can use the energy of Aldebaran to sharpen our mind, accelerate our path to enlightenment, increase our stamina, protect ourselves, and perhaps remind ourselves why we have chosen to reincarnate in this life. Aldebaran is known as one of the four royal stars. Its place in our sky has long been considered sacred by many ancient cultures around the world. Aldebaran is said to bring fortune, bravery, success, and resilience. Its energy resembles that of a guardian angel who watches over and protects those who bathe in its radiation. It is also said that Aldebaran awakens and sharpens the mind. It activates our third eye chakra, allowing us to grow in intelligence and raise our consciousness to new heights. Aldebaran is considered the start of enlightenment and allows us to download new and inspired ideas from the universe directly into our minds. According to Tanath, Aldebaran is the entry point for souls traveling to Earth or reincarnating back to it. As souls travel through the silver portal, they are path in the protective light of Aldebaran before making their way to their new life. Call. Calling all missionaries of light by Patricia Cotarobles. When we watch the news or read the newspaper, it seems as if everything on this planet is out of control and disintegrating into an abyss of chaos and confusion. It seems as if people in positions of power associated with governments courts, corporations, education, agriculture, energy, relations, media, financial institutions, and most of the world 
have lost their way. Other social systems and other social systems that affect people's lives. They have succumbed to the paralyzing clutches of their fragmented, fear-based human egos, even through that aspect, aspect of humanity's fallen personality is now obsolete. They have believed in the illusion of lack of and limitation and have adopted the mutated dog it dog consciousness to maintain their power. These people agree to do what they believe is necessary to maintain their position of power. Opinions. Bony report. The globalists want absolute separation from God. X-22 report. Everything would begin in November, when the Republic would be restored. According to Mike Adams, we are in free fall in an upside down world ruled by sociopaths. Thailand just announced that it will join the BRICS monetary system. Bond yields so as hopes for a rate cut fate. Dr. Chris Matheson believes financial problems of biblical proportions could come sooner than most people think and is worried about the system thawing. We continue to ride the two horses of ascension. One represents the liberation of earth from the kingdom of darkness and the other represents the creation of a new ascended society one that works for everyone. Reflections. Vitra talks about the recipe for life by Kerstin Erickson. If you want to live the true life, you must begin to know Mother Earth. You will recover the joy of the heart by connecting with Mother Earth because you will remember on a deep level of the soul that you have lost the connection with your primordial mother who in turn has always missed each and every one of you. Miraculous Quantum Leaps by Shakira Paradise Rose A lot can be achieved in a relatively short period of time. We are truly blessed with amazing tutors or mentors, spiritual teachers and inverters. Always remember that the divine light resides within you and we all reside within the light of the creative source. Therefore, we are all connected. Depending, deepening the connection by Octavia Basail. Important information about the extraterrestrial life will soon be revealed. Human beings have free will. Therefore, once you have chosen your government and delegate authority to make decisions regarding disclosure, it is unfortunate that intentions do not align with the 5D timeline. As a result, Starfleet cannot appear in a large numbers if the decision makers oppose them. It is important to recognize that your free will is paramount and if those who make the decisions do not agree, we must respect your wish. Pufna said, it's always very novelous and cheesy at times right now, but the efforts of many are being carried out by the white hats as well as the red hats who are progressing in various ways. Stay safe and out of harm's way. As you all await the promise of prosperity, attempts to block mandates and offers are being handled, and the movement is closer to producing rewards that it has been in years. We are happy to report this. It is not a done deal yet. The strangulation is decreasing and the effort to pour salt in the wounds, to make jelly with ice and all kinds of metaphors is not working. The gradual awakening is finally happening. We look forward to hearing more and being able to share more concrete information with you all as it happens. Hang in there, because you have the right to witness future historical change. Breaking news. 
Joseph Borrell highlights that the West has lost its right to force. The Davos Forum makes a gloomy forecast for economic growth in Europe. Iberdrola suffers a cyber attack that affects the data of some 805,000 customers in Spain. Excuse me, 850,000 customers, I mean. An Icelandic volcano once again expels lava that reaches up to 50 meters high. Belgium prevents Ukraine from using F-16s to attack Russian territory. North Korea launches hundreds of garbage balloons into South Korea. Americas. Chaos in front of the Israeli embassy in Mexico. Hooded men throw Molotov cocktails and try to remove defenses. The Colombian Congress approves the ban of bullfighting. Brazil surpasses Belgium to become the world's largest market for Chinese electric vehicles. Russia promotes its satellite service in the Americas, thanks to an agreement with Brazil. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.